you're welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen in oblique projection now when you hear the word oblique projection the first thing you should do is for you to draw the oblique axis one of them let's see this is our initial position here one of them is horizontal right the other is the y axis so this is our x this is y and the other is our z axis here at an angle of what 45 degree can you see that now if you look at this figure closely at the right hand side you discover that it is in first angle production why because of this symbol that is displayed here and because of this reason the plan is always below the front elevation so this is the front elevation and this is the plan right so we we'll look for the entire length the entire length is here and that is given to be what 72 so hi i'm going to measure 72 from this point here from zero i'm going to measure 72 and this is 7.2 here right and the height you get that from the elevation also which is given to be what 40 so I'll measure 40 from 0 to 4 is 40 0 to 4 is 40 then the width you get that from the plan that is what 32 here so I'm going to measure 32 from this point here from 0 to 32 from 0 to 31 32 can you see that now i will now project this point upward so using my 45 degree set square i'm drawing my vertical line here centering my y and i'm coming here to drawing vertical here now i'll use the 45 degree i'm placing it on my set square remember that so on my 45 degree here I'll place it here on this point the height here i'll draw this right then i'll use my set square steel i'll place it here and i'll get this right and i'll come here also at this point where they meet here i'll also get this right now what i use to get here i'll also use it to get to this point too which is this Hope you can see that now i have successfully brought out the shape in which i'm going to cover out the image now if you look closely let's start drawing from the elevation if you look closely from this point to this point right is this point to this point here is that the key now but the plan is telling me that this point here that I just mentioned here, which is 12, is not at the beginning of this line, it is not here, it's at the back. Are you with me now? If you look at the plan here, it's at the back. So, this vertical line you're seeing, it doesn't extend to the beginning, it moves at a distance to this point here. That is what is it? 12. You can see that because from here to here is equal to from here to here. So, I am going to measure 12. From this point here backward so from zero this is 12 here can you see that now once i've done that i can draw an horizontal line this way just faint line first please now once i've done that measure the 12 also um the distance from this point to this point, which is from here to here, is also what 12, as you can see on the diagram. So we are going to measure 12 from this point here, from 0, right, to 12. 
This is 12 here. Can you see that? Now, what do you notice from the plan? Now, it's telling me that from this same point here, which is this point here, I will draw a line in this manner, a, a, a parallel line to this line. So, if I'm doing that, I'll be having this this way. See what I'm doing? Placing it on my T square, right? My 45 degrees here square. And I'm going to take in from here to this point. Out there. And also from the plan, I will take in from here to this point. As you can see, then what I have here, it shows that that line is coming down. Both of the lines coming down, right? So I will bring this down from here, three down, right? And also from here, three down. But let's just end here because you cannot see that side because the figure is blocking that line. Are you seeing now? So this point you're seeing here is this point on the plan here, right? Why this point you're seeing here is this point on the elevation. So we move forward. So in moving forward now, I will now measure 54 because this line, this point you see here, the elevation to this point is from here to somewhere around here. So I'll measure 54, which I am going to what? I'm going to tick in. If I come to this point from zero here to 54. Yeah, can you see that? I am going to thicken it. I'll use my instrument here to thicken it at that point. So I'll stop here and also I'm going to stop here too. Oh, you can see that. So from this point here too. As you can see, where the 54 ends, there's a vertical line at the elevation, right? A vertical line coming down, but the plan is telling me the vertical line starts from this line here. That is 12 millimeter away from here, which is the line we've already drawn. So I'll just from here, draw my line from this point. Are you to me? From the, from the plan here, the line is stretched from this point straight down to this point. Right, and aside from that, that again, from this point here, it's coming down as you can see from the elevation. And from here too, I'll close it up. From here too, I'll close it up. Then, aside from that, this other line. You see, it's not extended from the plan here. Now you see, it's like a straight line, but the elevation is telling me it's coming down at an angle of what 60 degree out together. So before I come there, let's just move forward. So from here now, I'll just draw a line this way, horizontal line this way. Then I'll bring from this point, right? I'll bring it down from here. Then I'll close it up from here, as you can see. And aside from that, then I'll bring it down. You see, it's stretched from here to the end here. I'll bring it down there this way from this point. I'll stretch it to this point. You can see that. And the other one too, I'll stretch it to this point. Now, from the plan, the elevation here is telling me it is not just straight up, it is inclined. And I think it was the thickness of this line you're seeing here. So what I will do is, um, before I come there, there's a circle at this point here. A circle here, and also a circle here. So let's deal with that first. So we'll come back to this. Now, if you look at this circle here, 
the circle is 22 millimeter away from the end here which is this end here so I'll measure 22 millimeters so let's do that and see so measuring the 22 millimeter from here from 0 is 20 22 here and I'll bring it down straight this way end line first can you see that and the other one is 24 away from the from the bottom so from the bottom here let's just take it down fully so I'll measure 24 millimeter upward from 0 12 12 24 so this 24 here so at this point here that is where I am going to draw my center line we have a center line at that point here a circle will place there so let me use the center line to show that circle is there so now what is the radius of that circle the radius of that circle is written here saying two holes diameter 10 meaning the radius is what is 5 so I'm going to take my meter rule and I'm going to measure a radius of what of 5 so from 0 to 5 here can you see that and I'll place it here where I am going to draw my circle this way hope you can see that that is my circle so I have taken that out now the next one is the other point again is I'm going to measure 44 from the base here All right I'll measure 44 from the beginning of this line backward so let's measure the 44 so if I measure 44 here from 0 this is 44 here All right and I'll draw a vertical line upward this way So before I get to that point, I move to a distance of what of 12 also from the base. So I'll measure 12 from here. So from 0 to 10, 11, 12 here. Then I'm going to draw an horizontal line here. Long, short, long, short, long. And also here too. Long. Not, long, not, long. Can you see that? And they have the same radius, so I can just from here take the same measurement here, which I'm going to place here, and to have this. All right? You can easily take it out this way. Hope you can see that. Now we move forward back to our line here. Now what do you notice? The angle here is 60 degrees and it is difficult for you to measure 60 degrees from here. So it's always better for you to reproduce the elevation. So let's just draw um let's draw a vertical line. Just me remove this here so we'll see what we are doing. So I'll come here. I will draw an horizontal line first of all, this way. You see what I want to do? I'll draw an horizontal line. From that horizontal line, I'm going to measure a distance of 72, as you can see. So I'll measure 72 from any point here. I'll measure 72. So if I say I'm starting from here, right? This point here, this is 0. And this is what? 72. Can you see that? So I can take it up from here. So from that 72, is that the key? So I will now measure from see that beginning of 72 here. I'm reproducing the elevation. I will now measure 54. Right from here to 54. So let's do that. If I measure 72, this is my beginning here, 72. Then I'll measure 54 from there again. From 0. 254 is here and I'll take it up this way 
Can you see that? I also take care up to this way a little bit. Now the next thing I'm going to do again now is this. The height of the figure is given to be what 40. That is the same height from the one I did initially. I measured from the beginning of this line to the end here, which is from here to here. Can you see that? And what I did again is I measured from here to here, which is from here to here. Can you see that? Now the next thing is I'll measure the height. The height from here to here. I'll come here and I'll mark from here to here. So that is my height, right? So I will just draw my height at this point. So I'll just draw my horizontal line here. Just a little bit. This way. So at this point you see here. Will be this point you are seeing here. I will together or I will see this point you are seeing here. So I want to measure an angle of 60 degree. As shown in diagram. So what I will just do here is. I will just take my meter rule. And I will place it this way. Right, look at what I'm doing. Place it on this line this way. Make sure it is well placed. Can you see that? Then I'll now measure this is 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, right? 50, 60, this 60 here. So I'll just draw a line from that point of 60. To not become like this. So this is what I actually need. Nothing more, nothing less. Can you see what I did again? So the angle here should be what? 60. The angle from here to here. Is 60 degree. Can you see that? So what I'll simply do, I don't have to stress myself. Is I'll just measure... From this point here, right? From this point here, this is the degree. Yes. So from this point here to this point is 60. Now come here. Can you see that? So if I've done that, I'll just take my meter rule and I'm going to join from here to here, which I'll take in. Right? And I'll take here up to this way. Faint line. Right? Then I'll bring here this way to five degree, remember, from this point. I'll make it to touch here. Then I'll bring it down this way. I'll bring it down this way. Then I'm going to take it from this point to this point here. All together. Hope you can see what I have done. Right? The angle here is just 60 degrees, so I need to, need to use that and do that. So we successfully reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side in oblique projection right knowing fully where well that the angle between here right and here is 45 degree Forty-five what degree? Is that taken? So this is what we we'll call the oblique projection. So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.